this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlogs. Now this time we're going to be looking into the fourth episode of Season 5 of The Muppet Show, which features the one and only Shirley Bassey. Now chances are you might have actually heard about who Shirley Bassey is, or you might actually know a song that she might have sung, considering that she is one of the most popular female singers in Britain. Now, even though that she has done numerous of number one hit singles, her claim to fame would actually be singing many of the popular theme songs from James Bond, with her most popular song that she has done hands down has to be with Goldfinger. And she has also done some other ones like Moonraker, Diamonds Are Forever, uh, I think there's another one, uh, yeah, my, uh, Mr. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, and so much more. So, once upon a time, she was the definitive singer for James Bond films. And going into the episode that she appeared in, it's actually pretty interesting how her most popular song is Goldfinger, so that's pretty much what this episode pretty much completely encompasses. It's all about the gold. Now, of course, the final number, I'll just say it right now, is that they wanted her to sing Goldfinger at the end. But the whole situation for this episode was to figure out how would they want to go and execute it. At first, Scooter didn't really brought in any gold paint, so he decided to go with plan B, was to ask this guy who somehow actually has 50 million dollars worth of gold bricks and just to bring it in so that they could use it as a prop when uh, Shirley Bassey would sing Goldfinger. And a lot of the numbers and uh, some of the sketches actually do revolve around like like the use of gold. Like there is actually this nice one, like a, a silly but a really fun one to watch was uh, Dr. Bunsen, Honeydew, and Beaker actually created this machine that would actually turn gold into cottage cheese. And, uh, oh, and there is actually one more thing I forgot to mention, is about the guy that actually brought in the gold. And throughout the entire episode, the dude has, like, total paranoia because he does not want any single person to touch his gold. So much so that he has serious doubt towards Kermit. And, like, throughout the whole time, like, if anybody would ever want to touch, like, the gold right there, like, he would just smack them around like crazy. And, um, yeah, I think that's, uh, pretty much the whole thing with that guy right there. Now, going into, uh, the sketches specifically that went into gold, uh, there is actually one little number where, uh, where, uh, Shirley Bassey and Fozzie were backstage and they were talking about the gold. And, uh, like, Fozzie was just thinking about, like, all the money and all the, like, the comedy that he could buy. And, uh, what ended up happening was that Shirley Bassey would sing, uh, Pennies from Heaven. And, uh, like, it's supposed to be, like, a soft, heartwarming musical number, but then suddenly you see actual pennies just falling down from the sky and more Muppets are coming in. Like, they, like, they were just anticipating for the gold. Like, they would just take off their hats and just, like... You know, just be ready to get the money. It's like, it's like money's actually falling from the sky. Just get it while you can. Uh, it, it was actually cute. Like, it was a, a nice little mix of touching, but you got that good dose of Muppet comedy to be a lot of fun. Now, uh, are there any other uh, numbers uh, that are worth mentioning? Oh, yeah, there was also the Muppet News Flash that, of course, went into the aspect of the gold. Uh, that was actually a really nice one. Um, anything else? Um, let's see now. Oh, yeah, there's actually, uh, well, that, that's actually Shirley Bassey's first number would be Fire Down Below, where she's working in an entire construction site, and coincidentally enough, they were working with gold. Now, this was before the actual gold came in, so they already established that, like, what they had in that opening number with Shirley Bassey was that it was fake gold. And, um, actually... Like, whenever there's a moment that's not revolving around gold, it's actually a few firsts for this season in The Muppet Show, which is actually interesting. Now, the opening number, the first one to start things off, was actually the Electric Mayhem singing Barnyard Boogie. And in this one, this is actually the first time where we see lips prominently displayed in the Electric Mayhem. Now, I've already talked about lips before in the uh, first episode of Season 5, and um, like how we would mostly see him in the orchestra pit 
uh, during the credits and stuff like that, but this is the first time where we see Lips in here, like, as a legitimate member of the Electric Mayhem, just all gathered together just singing Barnyard Boogie. And then there's another first one. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is legitimately the first time that we see this, but it's actually, speaking of which, the orchestra pit having their own number. Now, like, of course, we see, like, we see them all the time playing the end credits and also um, the opening credits as well. But this is one of the first or one of the very, very rare moments that we see them actually doing a, 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 like, a musical number by themselves in the middle of the episode. And they were just playing, uh, what was it, After, you're, uh, After You've Gone. And, and that was that was pretty much it. And it was actually, you know, an interesting twist. And it was actually pretty nice to see. So, overall, like, yeah, I would say that was uh, pretty nice right there. Um, and then, like, any other ones that I didn't mention, I would have to say there is actually one number with Gonzo where he brought in Rolf and a violin player. Like, if this is one of his usual crazy stunts where Gonzo would play, cla would conduct classical music while at the same time he would be sword dancing, uh, not sword dancing, uh, sword fighting against a crab. It's Gonzo, you gotta expect weird stuff like that. Uh, but then there is also another one, which is apparently called, uh, Isn't That, Isn't This a Lovely Day? It's more instrumental. Uh, speaking of which though, there are a lot of them that are more instrumental than it is actual songs where people could sing to uh but like it's basically some of the more creative muppets the more alien like muppets where you got one that has like a trumpet for a nose and another one that's just dancing around in like stubby little legs and he keeps shooting balls out of his head and it just it, it keeps coming back so yeah that's definitely one of the more like unique and uh creative numbers on the muppets but I guess I think I, I covered it all, so I would say that overall, I think I really do appreciate uh, what they have done in this episode. Uh, one, my one criticism that I would say is that I feel like they might have not gone into the gold aspect that well. Like, we don't fully know about who that paranoia guy is with the gold, how he ended up with the gold, and like, we, we don't really have much of a background of how that gold is there to begin with or well like i'm not 100 percent sure if i even feel like we even got a full resolution with that gold so yeah that's my one that's my one and only criticism but other than that i truly do appreciate what this episode was doing like to pretty much commemorate having shirley bassey in so they decided to theme this entire thing with gold rather it be just having it in the musical numbers um like literally or just like discussing about the theme of it like uh like a little bit money based or stuff like that and even the numbers that are not necessarily associated with this episode in particular those were still a lot of fun to watch so yeah overall i would say that this was a very well accomplished episode definitely fantastic and um if you are a diehard james bond fan and you do like the music of shirley bassey then you might actually really appreciate this episode as well. And, uh, oh my god, I actually forgot to mention about... Wow, I, I don't know how the, that really slipped my mind, but the gold number... No, like, the gold goldfinger number itself, actually. And honestly, the way that they executed it was actually really fun. Like, where we see... And I, I think I really do appreciate it. Like, not just the song itself, but also the entire set that they created, where it's all in a safe... We see Shirley Bassey with a whole bunch of gold, and then suddenly, like, you actually see gold, like, Goldfinger right there, but played by Link Hogthrob with a finger made of gold, where he has a bunch of thieves just stealing all the gold. So, that was actually a lot of fun to watch. And again, if you're a James Bond fan, if you're a Shirley Bassey fan, then this episode is absolutely for you. Um, definitely fantastic. Really appreciate this episode. But anyways, that is pretty much it. Uh, with this episode in particular of the Muppet Vlog, so I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see if the Muppets can still deliver some more gold onto the next few episodes. But we will only know until next time, so see you later, dudes!